Hello everyone, today we're going to study chapter 2 of Black Beauty titled Difficult Journeys. So let's start reading it. One morning I was put into a small carriage to take Squire Gordon and Joan on a long journey for the squire's business. I liked pulling this carriage because it was very light and easy to pull. It was raining when we left and it was also windy, with many leaves blowing across the road. On our journey we crossed a bridge and I saw that the water of the river was really high. Many of the fields that we passed were flooded and sometimes I had to pull the carriage through water on the road. By bridge we mean a structure that spelt over road, railway, river, etc. so that people or vehicles can cross from one side to the other. Flooded. If a place floods or something floods it, it becomes covered with water. When we got to the town I had a good rest while Squire Gordon did his work. We started to go home late in the afternoon and now there was a real storm. I heard the strong wind blowing through the big trees that we passed. I will be happy when we are out of the wood, said Squire Gordon. And as soon as he said this, a big tree suddenly fell across the road in front of us with a loud crash. That was close, said John. What can we do? asked Squire Gordon. We can't go forward, said John. I think that we will have to go back home a different way. So we went back along a different road. It was longer and when we got to the bridge it was dark. We started crossing the bridge but I felt that something was wrong so I stopped. By crash we mean a sudden loud noise made. Come on beauty, said Squire Gordon who tried to make me cross the bridge. There is something wrong, said Joan. What's the matter, Beauty? I knew that the bridge was not safe, but I could not tell him. Then we heard a man shout from the other side of the bridge. Stop, he called. The bridge is broken in the middle. If you continue, you will fall into the river. I see, Joan replied. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Black Beauty, called Squire Gordon. You saved us. We had to take another road home, but the wind was less strong. At last, we saw the gates of Pertwick Park. I was very pleased to be home and enjoyed my evening food because I was very tired. To shout is to say something in a loud voice. A few weeks later, Squire Gordon and his wife decided to visit some friends who lived about 60 kilometers from my home. They drove Ginger and me about 35 kilometers on the first day. We stopped often before we reached the town where we would stay for the night at an inn. Ginger and I were fed and brushed. We were ready to go to sleep when another horse arrived. His young rider smoked a cigarette while his horse was brushed. I don't know how long I slept or what time it was when I woke up. I felt uncomfortable, although I did not know why. I heard Ginger coughing and I saw that the air was filled with smoke. Then I knew that there was a fire. A man appeared with a lantern and tried to take the horses outside. We could see that he was worried and this frightened us even more. None of us wanted to leave although we knew we were in danger. What would happen to us? We did not want to go anywhere. Then Joan arrived. An inn, a small hotel usually in the country, to cough, to force out air suddenly and noisily through your throat, lantern. A lamp in a transparent case with glass sides that has a handle so that you can carry it. Worried, feeling unhappy or afraid. Come on, my beautiful horses, wake up please, it's time to go. He spoke softly and was so gentle with me that I stopped feeling frightened. 
I slowly followed him out of the building and away from the fire. When I saw that I was safe, I called out for the other horses to leave. Ginger later told me that I had saved her. By now the fire was bigger and just as John led Ginger away from the fire, the building collapsed. Finally, some firefighters arrived to try to put out the fire. After many hours, the fire was no more. When we arrived at the house of, of Squire Gordon's friends the next evening, everyone was talking to Joan. It is one of the hardest things in the world to move horses when there is a fire, said Squire Gordon's friend. What you did to help them was amazing. To collapse means to fall down. So now let's do this exercise here on chapter 2. Number 1. Why was Squire Gordon going on a journey? He was going for his business. Number 2. What was the weather like when they left? It was raining and also windy. What did Beauty see on crossing the bridge? The water of the river was really high. Number 4. What did Black Beauty do in the town? He had a rest while Squire Gordon did his work. Number 5. Why couldn't they go forward? Because the tree closed the road. Number 6. Why did Black Beauty stop on the bridge? He felt that something was wrong. Why did the man on the other side shout? The bridge is broken in the middle. Number 8. What would happen if they continued? They would fall into the river. Number 9. How did they reach Pertwick Park? They had to take another road home. Number 10. How was Black Beauty at home? He was pleased and enjoyed his food. Number 11. How far did their friends live? 60 kilometers from Pertwick Park. Number 12. How did Black Beauty feel when he woke up? He felt uncomfortable. What was Ginger doing during the fire? Ginger was coughing. Number 14. How did Black Beauty know there was a fire? Because the air was filled with smoke. Number 15. Why did the man frighten the horses more? Because he was worried. Number 16. Why didn't the horses want to leave? Because the man frightened them. Number 17. When did Black Beauty stop feeling frightened? When Joan spoke softly and gently to him. Number 18. What did Ginger tell Black Beauty? She told him that he saved her. Match the items. Number 1. Squire Gordon. So the answer is, Squire Gordon went to town on business. Number 2. Black Beauty had to pull the carriage through water. Number 3. Black Beauty heard strong wind blowing through the big trees. Number 4. A big tree fell across the road in front of them with a loud crash. Okay, so match the items. Number 1. A man appeared with a lantern. Number 2. Squire Gordon and his wife decided to visit some relatives. Number 3. Black Beauty and Ginger were fed and brushed at the end. Number 4. The younger rider smoked a cigarette while his horse was brushed. So that's it. I hope you understand this lesson. Goodbye.